How to make simple marinara sauce in less than 20 minutes. Here are the ingredients you will need. Extra virgin olive oil. Fresh garlic. Fresh oregano, basil and thyme. San Marzano canned whole tomatoes. Chicken stock. A small amount of sugar. And salt and pepper to taste. Along with the ingredients, have these kitchen tools available. A medium saucepan. An opener for the cans. A garlic mincer. A set of measuring cups. A large mixing spoon, along with a teaspoon. And of course, a sharp chef's knife. Follow these directions in this order. First, prep your ingredients. Open the tomatoes and chicken stock cans. Then, mince three large cloves of garlic. Use more if the cloves are small. Pull the leaves off of the stems of the oregano, basil, and thyme. With the chef's knife, dice the herbs in small pieces so you have one cup of diced basil, a quarter cup diced oregano, and one eighth cup diced thyme. Have sugar, salt, and pepper out to add at the end. Second, blend the aromatics of the sauce. On medium heat, add one cup olive oil to a saucepan. Let that heat up for one minute. To this, add the minced garlic and all the herbs. Stir and cook for another minute, allowing the oil to absorb the garlic and herb flavors. Third, add two cans of San Marzano whole tomatoes. Don't substitute this brand of tomatoes for another because these tomatoes bring a unique flavor and texture to the sauce. Fourth, thin the sauce out by adding half a cup of chicken stock. I use my homemade chicken stock, but any brand will do. This step adds the salt needed when cooking tomatoes, so be careful not to buy the unsalted version. Fifth, bring the sauce together by stirring and gently break up the large pieces of tomato. Cook for about 10 minutes on medium heat. Sixth and final step. Taste your sauce. At this stage, adding one teaspoon of sugar to the sauce will mellow the acid flavors of the tomatoes. Finally, add salt and pepper to your liking. Cook for another few minutes. But be careful not to overcook. This sauce is good for making spaghetti and meatballs, lasagna, and homemade pizza. You can even use it as a dipping sauce for Italian breadsticks. There you have it. A perfect red sauce that is simple, cheap, and healthy. You can always find this recipe in the Lita Family Online Kitchen under the category Easy and Cheap.